How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with Mystery Beers. Ah, uh, the Mystery Beer. My favorite kind of beer, most of the time. Sometimes they suck, sometimes they're awesome. Uh, sometimes there's direct correlation whether I nail it or not. I don't know. All I know is this is a beer, I'm going to drink it. Now, Mystery Beers, for those that are uninitiated. My buddy Keith, who actually lives down the street from me now, so that's pretty cool. He was going to give me a set of beers once, and he asked him to wrap them up. So I have no idea what they are. And he did that, and people have followed suit. Uh, viewers have sent me some, friends have given me some. These last couple sets, uh, 30 or plus so of Mystery Beers have come courtesy of my buddy. Um, Chris, thank you very much, dude. Uh, he set me up with another set of these because I love doing them so much, and he loves watching them so much. So hopefully I don't crash and burn, even though those are the ones he loves the most. So yeah, I have no idea what's in here. It's not like it was in my house and somebody blinded it to me. It is just straight up unknowingness is that a word i don't know um there's dirt in the edges here so i think this might be sitting around for a little bit a little bit of detective work on what i can see who knows so yeah white label crack it open see what she's got okay okay what's we got going on here dark kind of brown now could be a sour i doubt that um what else could this be Hmm. Give it too much of a pour so you can't get a proper nose on it. That's what I do. Um, two fingers, just over two fingers of khaki, just north khaki colored head. Um, pretty uniform bubbles from the bottom to the top, and she's got a soft haziness. So you can actually see through her. I don't, I'm not sure if you actually see my finger traveling back and forth, but you can see she looks very much like iced tea, to be perfectly honest with you. Even the head, it's like you, you know, whipped it up a bit too much, a little bit too much powder in your iced tea. Let's snort from snort some foam words. What is this? I get a caramel thing in there, but I get hops too. Immediately f shoots the mind is um, 21st Amendment, a fireside chat. And, but also on top of that, I get a little bit of Sierra Nevada celebration out of it. I also get another 21st Amendment, which is Monk's Blood. I get like those three just firing off at me. There's a little bit of tuneness to it, but there's a caramel to it. There's a bit of hops to it. Nothing too crazy, though. Yeah, that caramel note is definitely going to be the biggest portion of the show. So it has this caramel vibe. That's pretty much it. I, I, honestly, at this point, uh, it could be an American-born Belgian. It could be a kind of sweeter kind of caramel based kind of brown ale. I don't know, but she smells okay. Let's dive in and see what she's got. Okay, really hoppy. Man, just reminds me of a 21st century beer. Or a Sierra Nevada celebration, but it's too dense, it's too caramelly, it's too thick to be celebration, but it reminds me of that. So what I'm getting here is I'm getting like a, a, a uber hopped up kind of brown ale, but you probably got that from what I'm talking about. So that's why I keep jumping at kind of, Monk's Blood comes off that way to me, uh, Fireside Chat comes off that way to me. Is it Fireside Chat? I think it's Fireside Chat. I'm pretty sure it is. And, um, and Celebration comes off that way to me. So yeah. Caramel notes, hot bitterness, a little bit of fruitiness there, but more of that herbal kind of tea-like tannic bitterness comes through. That's pretty much it. So if it's one of those three cans, I'll be happy with myself. Or something similar. That's all I have. That's all there is in a beer. I don't know how to guess it. I don't drink beers like that this often in order to guess it um, on a nose, but man, those three beers are just screaming in my brain. It's neither of those because none of those come in a blue can. So what do we have here? We have, okay, it's a Cigar City's Tokobaga Red Ale. On the back here, we have Tobo, I've never had this before, actually. Tokobaga lived off the bounty of Tampa Bay 100 years ago, Florida New Year ago, a large platform, blah, blah, blah. Planet on the top, but there's a little imaginary graphic design, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, they say a red ale, um, but I'm guessing... This is in that vein of a hopped up red ale. Seven point two percent. I didn't guess the ABV. I would have guessed lower than that though. Yeah. Recipe by Tim Ogden. Mm -hmm. 
date on this sucker. We have 11, 13, 17 is canned. So you're talking about this is um, almost April 1st. So you do the math. It's tasty. I like it. Um, I didn't name style either. I probably wouldn't have get, went with red ale. Even though reading it now, it kind of makes sense. It's just a hopped up brown to me. Caramel leaning. Um, hops definitely bumped up. And just kind of like... You know, it's basically a sessionable, sessionable version of an American strong ale or an American barley wine. Is that what I'm getting at? Like a lighter version of that. And it's not bad. It's cool. It's fun. I like it. I dig it. I like those beers. I like to get that little bit of caramel note with that bit of hot bite. It just kind of works for me. So, yeah, it's tasty. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better brown ales that I've had as of late. Sure. Um, I don't remember the last time I had one, so it defaults to that. Is it tasty? Let's just talk about that. Yes, I like that bit of sweet sugar daddy caramel that was giving me with the herbal hoppiness. That kind of profile back and forth kind of works for me. Um, especially in a can like this, which is probably relatively cheap, relatively readily available, especially if you see Cigar City. It's pretty tasty. So, value availability, I just covered that and just leave you with, if you like what way you like this. If you like the beers I talked about, Monk's Blood... Fireside chat, if you like celebration, this is a bit too, like I said, bold, a bit too rich to be celebration, but it's in that kind of vein, which makes me believe that this might be a really curious, fun one to age, um, but yeah, she's tasty, she's good, she's delicious, she's a jugger, she's 7.2%, and she's cheap, so yeah, there you go, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review, down there if you want to talk about it, um, type in massive beers, Social media, Beer Massive Podcast. You type those in, find me doing distinctly two different things. One, Beer Massive uh, massive is uh, my podcasting stuff. Uh, massive Beers is my uh, social media stuff. I do a lot of kind of stuff outside of YouTube, so check that out. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully enjoying a nice little uh, spicy red ale jammer right now. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.